All right, we're back. And killer clowns. Let me adjust the uh, gamma here real quick. Okay. Lock up these bots. We got ourselves a runner. We'll let him deal with that. We'll take the cocoon. Alright, let's get everybody hooked up here. Alright, so far just bots. That's alright. And there's another cocoon. throw these two or three over here. Still nothing but bot. That's okay. At least we can show the gameplay. I mean, the bots aren't terrible. Here, let's bounce around a little bit. Oh, see, we got one right here. Where were you? Yeah, we did have something over here. Go check it out anyway. Interesting. We haven't opened anything to see if... Ah, okay. That's cool. We haven't opened anything yet, so that that's kind of cool to see uh, when you're searching through an area to see if uh, anybody's around. We got one in Cocoon. One, another one down. We got one left. Where is the last bot? I do like this mode because, well, it's not really a mode. Let me rephrase. So you get bots when no one else has joined the lobby, um, which is cool because it gives you a chance to kind of test everything out. So like if you're new to the game, I would highly recommend just trying that out. Just so it kind of gives you a glimpse into like how to use the character, how mobile they are. The different abilities that they have. Alright, let's bounce. Oh, you already got him. Nice. Where's he at? We'll join him. Nice, nice. And I do like the fact that you still get experience and you get credit for it. 
So it passively helps you level up too. Which, in the previous game, like in Friday the 13th, even though you had bots, you couldn't do that, right? You didn't get credit for doing any of that stuff. So this is really nice. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed uh, gameplay. Granted, like I said, it was just bots only, but it kind of gives you a glimpse into spending more time on the map. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. See you in the next one.